All right, guys. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the blade in our uh, grinder. And I guess I'm going to be clumsy the whole morning. All right. I've got that. Uh, I got a cutoff wheel put in it, and what I've done what I've done is set this in there where it's going to go, and I've marked it with a uh, sharpie. So. Now we've got to cut this round part out. So the way I did the other one is the same way I'm doing this one. Uh, I'm just going to cut lines across it until we get it where we want it. And then we'll start cross cutting it until we get where we want it. So we'll get started. Now that we've got that part out, now we're just going to kind of smooth it out a little bit. So we're going to use a wide disc. around because now we have that notch we need to cut out and I'll show you what that's going to be for that is going to be for the bottom I'm going to put this on the bottom yeah it's got a little rust on it but once I clean it up and weld it paint it It'll be fine. That's going to rest in there on the bottom so that this rides along the bottom of the ground or on the ground. So that, let's say that you wanted to back up and or go forward and you accidentally go backwards with your ramps down. This here will glide across the ground and just slide across the ground as long as it's even ground. Yes, there's still a chance that it can dig in, but a less of a chance. So that's just basically to keep it from digging into the ground. Alright, so now let's cut that out. So now that's done. Now we get to go out and start welding it up. Alright, so now what I've done here is if you notice on some on these here bed frames, they have a little uh, chamfer in it. It's not completely square. So what I had to do was I had to round these off so that they would set in there nice and tight. Uh, I didn't do that on this one and there was a little bit of loose joints in there. So <coughs> I wish I had a wider bench 
but I don't. So, now we get to put it together. Alright guys, we're done with the welding. And uh, now we just gotta let it cool down and wire wheel it with the angle grinder and paint it just like I did the other one. Um, and then once I get get it installed, then I'll uh, repaint them so uh, I'm gonna wire wheel these off camera and go ahead and spray them off camera and then we'll show you the finished product uh, I'm not ready to install it yet because uh, I will to make that a separate video uh, the reason being is because I want to paint the trailer too, so I think I'm just going to wait on these. <coughs> to install them, so I guess that will uh, end welding the ramps. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and 
kept your attention. Uh, you guys have a good one. Later. Oh, and by the way, I used a smaller rod this time. I used a 6011E. Uh, or E6011. Uh, 330 seconds. Uh, they seem to work a little better than the 6011 uh, eighth inch. So, uh, Those are those are Lincoln uh, welding rods, so they seem to work a little better for flowing. Uh, I'm still working on my techniques again. Uh, I can't believe that for no longer and I've been out of welding that I'm that rusty, uh, but they're getting better. So anyway. This time, for real, you guys have a good one. Later.